Well, I, I spend a big part of my days at the sewing machine, and many nights when I should be sleeping, I'm dreaming of quilt patterns. This one in the fabric store is called Hello Darling. And I never particularly liked that. <laughs> but I will. Uh, it looks like a beautiful flower garden, although that's a different pattern. I'm Tracy Tackett. I'm 54 years old. And I grew up in Hazard, Kentucky, in Perry County, where I was introduced to quilting when I was five years old. Um, I didn't actually start sewing myself until I was probably 10 or 11, but I actually learned the art of quilting when probably 10 years ago. I'm Holly Fields Collins, uh, Tracy's uh, great aunt. <laughs> and, uh, I, I'm from, uh, I was born and raised in Hazard, Kentucky. And uh, I've just loved making quilts. I, uh, my joints don't allow me to quilt now, but I do piece the tops, and I have a great time doing it. So tell me when you first started learning to quilt. I really got serious about it when I was in college. But I, I got serious about doing the art myself, learning it by watching my mother. She used to you know, frame it and, and sit and suspended it from the ceiling uh, during the day when she was uh, raising the eight of us children. Where do you think they learned? Where do you think your mom, your mother? I think uh, Tracy, most of them learned. Uh, it was a necessity to keep the family warm mm -hmm. and to use up fabric, just all shapes, colors, and sizes. And to me, they were just, they were just a tapestry of our lives. I've heard mom talk about the feed sacks. The, True. the feed would come in cloth bags that were that had a pretty pattern. They might have flowers on them and they would use those to make clothes. And then when they outgrew the clothes or they became a little bit worn, then they would cut those garments into quilt pieces and use them in their quilts. Yes, there's a little story that you may want to hear. Now may be the time for me to tell it. We ordered uh, seed beads for the garden, and they would come every. Uh, we had one sister that we teased about. And she, she got a, a pair of. Uh, undergarment across the back it said keep dry <laughs> of course that was intended for the for the beans but anyway we we did a lot of running when we tease her about that and, and she she chases and we'd run look at his split <laughs> I love that story because that just shows how resourceful people were, that nothing went to waste. Right. Things were reused over and over. First it was a feed sack and then it became an article of clothing and then it became a quilt that helped keep the family warm. I think all of that shows how in Appalachia we use what we have. We are appreciative of what we have and we make something beautiful out of it, even the hard times usually. Um, through hard work it turns around for the better and so in my opinion a quilt just is the perfect representation of us here in Appalachia 
You may not appreciate it if you're from outside of our region. Just like some people don't appreciate a quilt if they don't know the work and the skill that goes into it. But for those people here who do know, it's precious and it's a symbol of, of love oftentimes. So for those reasons, I feel like this art that started out as a necessity is now so much more than that.